Hey there. Well, today's project is going to be trying to remove this lino or what we call it kind of floor. Looks like it's from the 60s. It's pretty, pretty rough, pretty horrible. <clears throat> from this, which will probably be our games room or media room. Um, you can see there's a lot of work to be done in here. Um, but the first project is to see if we can get this up. We're hoping that there will be the same terracotta tiles, which are called tomettes, I think, in France. We're hoping that that's underneath these. It looks like in the crack here. Get closer. It looks to me like it might be, but I, I'm not sure. I'm just not sure what's in there. Could be wood. I don't know what they've done. But we're going to take it up either way because we don't want them. We don't have this lino stuff here. So what I'm going to use is a heat gun to uh, try lifting it up. So hopefully it comes up easily and hopefully uh, not going to be a huge problem. All right, I'm just going to keep the window slightly open if you hear any noise. That's what it's from. <clears throat> Let's just see if I can heat this up enough. It's all right, I want it like it's super easy. But yeah, let's heat this up, see if it'll be pliable enough to just give it a good scrape. The smell is pretty brutal. I'm going to open the window. And this isn't really a full respirator, but I'm just going to put this mask on. Oh, pretty well. See so if you can get a big tear going. Yeah, let's see if you can get a big tear. Oh, it's so going. Unfortunately, it looks like this floor has been poured over with concrete or something, and I'm not seeing any usable tiles underneath. Some floodplain stuff. Oh, that's sad. Oh well. Just continue on, and we'll figure what we're going to do with it after. The good thing is I'm not having to use the heat gun. It's like I said, I can take this off my mask <coughs> until we get in a Stick to your spot. Just kind of pull it right up. Oh, you went a bit nuts there. The camera sometimes gets out of balance on this little stand and just flip around. Yeah, it's certainly coming a lot easier than I expected, which is good news. I don't know what we're going to do in this room. We're going to have to discuss. You don't normally use carpet in France. This would have been a good room to just throw a carpet down. Since, but uh, I'm not sure. Maybe we can get some skinny little tiles that doesn't raise a level enough. I don't think it's any point to trying to get down on this. I may take some. Uh, you know, the acetone or something and see if I can remove some film off and see if there actually are tiles as I've wondered. But 
At this point, I'm not sure what to do, but we'll get this up first. Because yeah, it, it's hard to explain, but when we first moved in, or actually when we, even when we visited the place the one time we came, it was very strange smelling here. It smells like chemicals, kind of like a, uh, medicine or something. We couldn't we never explain it. When we took the wallpaper off, we thought, oh, maybe that maybe there's mold or something, but there really wasn't. Uh, the only thing you think of is just this, this, this lying on the floor. When I smell it, it does, it smells very weird, but it's just so overpowering. And you would never want to spend any time in here. It always would give you a headache. I, I, I don't know how anyone could have stayed in here. <laughs> but yeah, it's, there's something up with these, with hopefully with just this floor. It may be this um, glue or something that has a real strong smell to it. You know, certainly this must have been done in the 60s. With this pattern, maybe the 70s. Uh, it's quite weird that they would have been able to keep it all this time. Anyways, we'll continue on. There are these, in some of the rooms, are these, uh, <coughs> there are remote light switches. So you can on, off, on, off. With the window open, you can hear the church and the, and the Marie's office, which is the mayor. But uh, you can listen to the bells. But yeah, interesting. We're going to lose these, unfortunately, but they're kind of cool. They're kind of just like a weird cloth wire. <laughs> I guess from the 60s. I guess it would have been quite the, the cool thing to have a remote in your bed to turn the lights on now. Alright, back to work. We got luckier, luckier with the other side, coming up in big pieces. But uh, I'm finding that if I don't snap it, like when I jam it in more, I just kind of ram my fingers. So it's better to, to break off little bits. I want what, about a quarter less, maybe less, less than that. The last little corner. And that's it. Now I've just got to clean it all up, bag it up, get me to the room with vacuum, and hopefully it won't stink in here anymore. Just grab a second bag. Because this stuff is so sharp, I don't want to just split the bag open. And these are old and used once before in these bags, so.
All right, time to do a little vacuuming. It's sort of strange. Um, after looking at everything, um, I originally thought, looking at patches down here, that they had just poured concrete or some sort of uh, leveling compound or whatever over top of everything, and they put down the uh, sorry, there, put down the um, the lino. But looking after I stood out from taking the stuff, if you look very carefully, you can sort of make out. But there are squares, and it looks like to be tiles, at least in this area. So what I'm thinking of doing is possibly, even over here, you can start to see under all that glue, or whatever it is, that there are tiles under there. We have a bunch of tiles that we had found in the garden uh, that match this size. So if there's damage to some of them, you know, within reason, we're going to be able to replace them. So what I might do is I might try to get some uh, acetone, which I actually found in the garage over here. Um, and put some on a, uh, a bit of the, the ground, or the, the floor, and just see if it's something that we can uh, remove. Um, we would prefer, you know, worst case is, if they are tiles, I can then remove them and put down some that are similar to it. So I'll give that a test and let you know how it goes. I put a little bit down, you can see the wet spot there, and I'm just letting it sit, let the acetone sit for a bit, and um, hopefully it'll remove some of the glue or paste or whatever this stuff is. So let's give that a try. Got some really good news. Um, I tried using the heat gun on the... Watch my shaking here, sorry. Um, I tried using a heat gun on the tiles, and it looks like this top layer or whatever is just kind of popped off. I thought, oh no, originally it was, oh, I've destroyed the tiles, but it doesn't let their tiles out of there. So I'm going to try a heat gun and seeing if this will just all crack off. Um, so hopefully there's something under that we can save. Uh, that'd be fantastic. I'll get back to you when we see if we can get a bit more off. Let's see how much of this I can get off. Looks like it might be taking the top of the surface off a little bit, but it's still, it's a tile. I mean, that's, looks like there's a lot of old stuff on there. Um, I'm hoping it'll be good enough. What I'll probably do is sand this and uh, get back to what it was. We've got to kind of clean these tiles all up anyways, and there's no like kind of porcelain on them or anything like that. They're just kind of terracotta. And a porous. So if I can get this off, it'll save this floor. And then just depending on where the broken tiles or patches are, we I have enough for them to do a pretty good section. And hopefully can match it all. So let's do that. But so far, this is very encouraging.
And that's working, so that's fantastic. I'm just going to continue working with you on this. I'm actually wondering if more of a focused nozzle would be better versus just having it on a strip, um, a more of a round pattern, so I can hit more area at once and make it expand. <clears throat> One thing I'm noticing is that if I can get it hot, it gets a bit of a sheen on it, like it's, the plastic is kind of turning liquefied. And at that point, it looks like that's when I can scrape it and it lifts off. So I'm going to keep doing that. I think this nozzle is a bit better, does a big area instead of just a little strip. And uh, see so how it goes. It does stink though. We don't have this on. Whew. A lot of work, but I think we'll get there. Might be a couple days, but uh, at least it's not. Uh, could be a lot more if I couldn't get this off. So I have to remove the tiles, lift them up, put down new ones. So hopefully, it's just a matter of patching some of the bad ones. Because this doesn't look too bad. It looks bad, but it looks like it's salvageable. So that's good. Let's keep it going. It's interesting, right? You can hear this top off. So what I think it is, it's some sort of um, mortar, self-leveling compound mortar or something from probably the 60s. Uh, it's basically, it's expanding, uh, breaking its bond with the tiles. And every once in a while you can hear it go crack. And that's when it's easy for it to lift up. And then this, the gel stuff is actually on top. You know, this is this glue for the the uh, the vinyl floor or whatever it's called but yeah so it's it's I'm quite amazed at how easy this is going obviously very slow but it's uh, I think we're gonna be able to do this room Thank you. 
Well, it's looking like I've cleared about a square meter. Well, not quite, but close to that, or about. So I'd probably say I'm 5% done. I don't think I've been an hour yet. So yeah, a couple of days and we'll get it done. Unfortunately, it was at this point that I started to notice I was getting a headache from heating the glue. So I decided to put this project on hold until I got better protection. If you'd like to see me finish restoring this floor in the future, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.